Good evening, everyone. We are winding down the high school basketball regular season schedule, but that doesn't stop the great action from happening around the Upper Peninsula. Let's start with girls basketball in Ishpeming. And the Hematites have had a lot of success at home this season. They get off to a good start in the first as Kaylee Angler gets the steal and she give the rock to Tammy Simula for the layup 10 to 4 Ishpeming. Then more defense from the girls in white as Maddie Swanson's pass will be picked by Jessica Spencer and she goes all the way to lane. Nice spin move here. Puts it in. Hematites up 12 to 4. Then to end the first quarter would be Gabby Crowley find Spencer again as her shot would hit every piece of the iron and go right in. 14 to 4 Ishpeming after one quarter. Then the purple Hornets coach Scott Lloyd got his troops ready for a comeback because Morgan Skyda would get picked by Maddie Swanson and she goes all the way in for two. She's wagging her tongue like a mad dog out there. Lance only down 14 to 7. Then Swanson on the break. She finds Kelsey Ross for the step back jumper that hits nothing but nylon. Purple Hornets down 20 to 12. And while Lance makes a comeback, they can't overcome the hematites as Ishman goes on to win 40 to 39. And we go cross town for Norway at Westwood at Ishpeming Township. And we go to the first quarter there. Patriots playing some defense. Elizabeth Van Buren gets the steal out of nowhere. And she goes coast to coast for the lay-in as it hits every part of the iron. Westwood up 15 to 4 early. Then off the inbounds play, Alexis Forcini, Katie Rankinen, and she'll cash in those three points from beyond the arc. Westwood up 18 to 4. But Norway makes a run in the second quarter with nice ball movement. Leah Matson finds Rachel Connery for the jumper here. Knights down just 20 to 8. Then more from the Knights as Matson would throw it across court to Shelby Madnick, who drives baseline and throws a sweet floater that goes right in. Knights go on an 11-0 run to cut it to 2015, but the Patriots have a big third quarter, outscoring Norway 14-3, and go on to win this one by a score of 43-28. To, to the scoreboard we go. We did not hear from Menominee and Kingsford, but Calu Houghton beats Calumet 64-62. Kelsey Richard fouled with .3 seconds left, makes the free throws for the win there. Forest Park beats Iron Mountain. That's reversed, excuse me there, 68-31 because Lexi Gussard finished with 36 points and Tennessee and UConn was in attendance for the game. Then West Iron County beats Hancock 50-28. Chassel beats Jeffers 38-35. Then North Central beats North Dickinson 54 to 41. Mid Peninsula beats Rapid River 57 to 31. Barriga falls to Ewan Trout Creek 46 to 41. We did not hear from Dollars Bay Waters meet. And we also had, a, we didn't hear from Ironwood or Wakefield Marinesco, but the Enganai Newberry game was postponed and there is no makeup day as of yet. To boys basketball, Skyline Conference matchup between North Dickinson and Rapid River. And the Rockets go up to a good start in this one. Jake Pearson gets the basket and the foul. The Rockets have the early 10 to 4 lead. Then moments later, it would be Pearson again. He gets another chance at it and he'd make the layup plus the foul coming up here, getting a nice job going to the basket, and Rockets at 15-9. But the Nordics do make a comeback here as Tim Ruska they would get a steal for the Nordics, and he'd go to coast to coast to bring the North Dickinson to within 15-11, and actually North Dickinson ends up winning this one by the score of 40-38 to down the stretch. And to the boys' scores we go. We'll get to them quickly as it's West Iron County rolling over Norway 62-27. to Then Newberry falls the Manistique 54 to 51. Then Hancock beats Dollar Bay 52 to 27. And Forest Park beats Florence, Wisconsin 74 to 36. And then Sault Ste. Marie and Alpena postponed. Menominee and Escanaba postponed, but that will be done on February 25th. Also, Ironwood beats Bayfield 61 to 39 in that matchup. Also, high school hockey, Kingsford beats Lance 7 to 1. And we stay local with some basketball. Michigan Tech senior Ali Hader has been named the GLIAC North Division Player of the Week. Hader set career rebounding records at Michigan Tech at 815 with 26 combined rebounds and a pair of wins last week. The Windsor Ontario native scored a combined 57 points on the week, including 18 to 20 from the free throw line. He leads the GLIAC in both scoring and rebounding this season. Well, this week is the beginning of rivalry week in college sports. Here in the UP, Michigan Tech and NMU will lace up the skates and drop the puck in Houghton Tuesday night. 
night. And the Huskies are coming off a split with Alaska Anchorage this past weekend after displaying their offense at full force with a 6-1 win Saturday afternoon. NMU, on the other hand, played great defense with a 3-0 shutout Saturday night against Ferris State. But both teams are coming off a weekend split, and tomorrow's game is a must-win game for both squads down the stretch. Well, it's a big game for us. You know, uh, it looks good in the middle of summer when you schedule it, you know, and you think, oh, it's a good time. But now, you know, I'm sure Walt and, you know, myself, it, it's a quick turnaround. Uh, you know, it's an important game. It's a rivalry game. And, and then we both have big games on the back end of it. So, um, you know, we're both going to be excited to play. It's going to be a good hockey game. We had a good hockey game Marquette with them. So, but it's a rivalry game. Our guys know the importance of it, and they're going to be excited to play. Puck drops at 7.07 p.m. NMU is on a four-game winning streak in this series. The Wildcats have 28 wins up in Houghton, dating back to 1979.